Hi everyone, thank you once again for tuning in. Today I'll be showing you how to create downloadable links or buttons from your website using Web Starts. This is perfect if, let's say for example, you would like somebody to be able to download a group of files from your site. Those files could be photos, they could be videos, they could be audio files, or they might be documents. A lot of the time people ask me how they can allow people to download documents and contracts and that sort of thing from their website so that people can sign them and get them back to them. And uh, all this that I'll be talking about today will help you provide a solution to your site visitors where they can download something from your site. So. Without uh, any other delay, let's just jump in and take a look at this page that I've created. Here, this is a page with 18 stock photos that we're giving away here at WebStart. So if you see the URL, you can go there and you can download these stock photos. But I don't want people to have to click these photos individually and then right click to download them to their computer. So what I did is I created a download photo pack link with this button and when you click it, it allows you to download all of the uh, photos that are in a zip file at the same time. And that's another thing to keep in mind. If you have a zip file, uh, you can make that on your computer, upload it to Web Starts, and then people can download all the files within that zip file directly from your site. So let me show you how I set that up in the page editor. To save time, I've already laid out my page here. You can see I've got a title and I've got these photos. But what I'd like to do is allow somebody to download the entire pack of photos all at once. And the way I do that is I click Add and I choose to put a button on my page and then I'm going to drag that button and drop it here. And then I want to change the style of the button so I click the little paintbrush and then I click Customize Style because I want to use this specific style. Once your style is all set up for your button, click on the settings icon attached to the button and then you can change the text that appears on the button. So I'm going to do that. As you can see, my button's not quite wide enough to display all that. So I'm going to make some adjustments. I actually have a certain size that I use for my button, so I'm going to click on the resize by value so I can enter that exact size by pixels in width and height. Go ahead and make sure that's centered one more time. And now I'm going to link to the file that I would like to allow people to download, and I do that by clicking on hyperlink, choosing my file, and then choosing the file from my file manager. I've already uploaded this file and it's called work from home 2528. It's in a zip file or format, but you can allow people to download files from any format, including documents like Word, Excel, and PDFs. So I select the file that I would like to allow people to download. And if you haven't uploaded the file, just click on upload and then you can upload that file from your local computer. Click insert create link, and then be sure to save your changes. Now when I go to the website, I'll be able to click on that download, download photo pack button and download all the photos from my website. And let's see if I can show you what that looks like. Here you can see it's downloading right here in the bottom left hand corner. So that's it for this video. Hopefully that covered everything you need to know and you can figure out that how to do other file types, like for example, PDFs and photos and those sort of things. But it's pretty easy to add a download link to anything using Web Starts. So thanks for watching and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the subscribe button right here. And if you'd like to see even more videos on search engine optimization, internet marketing, and web design, click the watch more button here.